Hi boys and girls! Sorry I switched out my intro because <laughs> I figured it out um, it might be fun. Um, anyway, hi boys and girls. <laughs> um, so I've got the, uh, let me show you how to install a kernel on your Galaxy S2 phone. Um, this is the AT&T version, but it should be same on the international version. Uh, the buttons are a little bit different. Um, it's volume down, home, and power button all together for international. And for this one, AT&T, uh, you want to make sure USB is unplugged and hold down volume uh, up and down and the power button. And you want to copy over the kernel zip file. Don't unzip it. Just copy the file over to your internal, internal storage or your SD card. And then hold down the power buttons, uh, volume up and down, and the power button together until you see clockwork mod recovery. For international version, you'll want to hit, I think, volume down, uh, the home button and the power button together. Uh, you hold it until you come to the clockwork mod recovery. It might be orange or blue, uh, depending on which version you're on. This is blue because I am on the latest 5.0.2.3 as of this video. Sorry, I got it sideways because I want to show you that all the buttons I'm pressing. Um, so what you want to do is um, go copy. You copy the file over, or you can also go uh, copy it over here. Go to mounts and storage, hit the home button. And you, you, it might be the power button if you're on the international version. Home button, and then you can mount storage, USB storage, and connect it to your computer. Then your internal storage will be connected to your computer as a disk drive. Copy over the kernel file like this, or um, you could have done it before. And hit the uh, power button to go back, um, or it could be the back button. You can do the back button too. Um, next, once you've copied over the kernel file, go to install zip from SD card, hit the home button, um, it could be power button if you're on international version, and then uh, choose zip from SD card, hit the home button, oops, there we go, sorry my camera's adjusting because there's light, uh, and then go find the file, um, I'm going to install the Galaxy S2 ATT dash Max OCV1, that's the kernel I overclock kernel I made today uh, which can overclock your phone to 1.6 gigahertz stably and then select that and hit the home button Oops. and say yes and hit the home button and you should get some message custom message oh that's what I put on there woohoo uh, install finish and uh, hit the po uh, power button to go, go back or the back button and reboot system now hit the home button or it could be the power button and that's just how you install a new kernel. Um, so you, you'll see this screen here. And then you'll see that um, my boot animation, which uh, will show up, which shows that uh, a custom kernel has been installed. Only custom kernel can support boot animations. And uh, my kernel can actually do, uh, you can put boot animations of your liking. I'll have a video on that um, maybe tomorrow. I'm getting tired because. Um, I had a, I had a big burrito. No, I'm just kidding. I've, I've been working all day and, you know, cleaning around the house. Um, it feels really good when your place is clean. I feel like I can code and stuff. So, uh, for those of you who are messy at your office, don't clean your, don't forget to clean your office. Um, if for some reason you install this and, uh, your Google market's not working or something, it shouldn't, but... Uh, what you can do is go back into Clockwork Mod Recovery and just clear the cache or format the cache partition, which sometimes causes problems when you install new kernels or ROMs. Um, so I booted up, and uh, you can check the kernel version um, if the kernel developer put their name on there. Um, so you can see OC kernel version v1, and now I can go overclock it. Anyway, that was how to install a uh, flash, a kernel from Clockwork Mod Recovery f uh, on your Galaxy S2. And this method is nearly identical to installing a ROM without the wiping part. Um, so I hope this video helped and go flash a bunch of kernels. Um, flash my kernel. <laughs> Thanks. And check out more tips at galaxyst2root.com. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We just hit 8,000 subscribers. We need your help to, uh, my goal is to reach 
10,000 by end of this year. Um, so I hope you can help me hit that button. And thanks, y'all. Subscribe. See y'all later. Oh, I mean, um, see you, see you, boys and girls, later.